Here we go again. According to the World Health Organization, we have to prepare for an upcoming pandemic. But the main question is, has the organization reputation been undermined? Hello everybody, welcome to the channel that challenges the mainstream media and the political establishment from the left-wing nutters to the globalist elite. And we've got a number of news updates for you guys throughout the whole day, every half an hour as usual. We're going to start with our favorites. Tedros is back. Tedros of the World Health Organization is now warning us about a potential new dangerous bird flu. And uh, <laughs> I get the concept of the World Health Organization, um, the original concept of and making sure you monitor everything internationally and find out you could connect various countries and health departments together. Nothing wrong with it. The problem we have is that uh, over the last few years, a number of things have come out to undermine the reputation of the organization, including believing whatever the CCP told them in 2019 and 2020. And of course, some of the other issues that created a bit of a conflict of interest, let's just say at, at best. But now, if they are coming out to warn us about something new, and especially with the, with the way the governments around the world handled uh, the well, post-first lockdown periods, are we actually going to have a situation where people will listen? Let's go to the head of WHO. We must prepare for any change in the status quo. As always, people are advised not to touch or collect dead or sick wild animals, but to report them to the local authorities. WHO is working with national authorities and partners to monitor the situation closely and to study cases of H5N1 infection in humans. Again, it is important to make sure that, of course, when there are various new viruses or old viruses coming back uh, that could threaten humanity, we need to be on top of it. We get it. But the problem is, maybe there is it's time to make some reforms. Maybe it's time to at least change the leadership of the World Health Organization. At worst, let's just go radical and abolish the organization and start from scratch and bring in better people. And there are various ways to actually do this in order to bring back some sort of credibility. But right now, the whole thing, I believe, is undermined. WHO recommends countries strengthen surveillance in setting where humans and farmed or wild animals interact. WHO is also continuing to engage with manufacturers to make sure that, if needed, supplies of vaccines and antivirals would be available for global use. There's another question, by the way, when it comes to, he's talking about the future jabs, right? And I'm not going to go too critical, I'm just going to go rational about this. We have had in the past um, the leadership of WHO coming out uh, to make statements when something crazy happens. We get it. But so far, with this whole new situation, uh, it doesn't seem to be completely out of control. In the past, with cases like this, any health alert, the whole point of the World Health Organization is to work closely and privately with governments around the world, which means send an email, organize a Zoom call, have a meeting. You don't have to always go on TV to broadcast what's happening, unless, again, when it gets to late 2019, early 2020, uh, to give an update to the world. This video, the audience he was addressing was, the target audience was still government and health departments. So he was literally saying, well, we recommend to the governments to do this and that. Not the public, apart from him saying, don't touch dead birds. <laughs> I get that. So just send a tweet. I don't understand why everything is turning into a celebrity factor. Every, everyone has to have some sort of press conference. Everyone has to go on TV. Everyone has Just do your stuff, whatever you're doing, if it's legitimate, privately, with, with governments around the world. Have your meetings, regular meetings, and let them know any updates, any monitoring you've done internationally about something happens somewhere else in the world. I don't understand. But the, the main question is, do you think that uh, even to an extent, their reputation has been undermined or not? And what is your solution for it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.